Hello, hello, my dear. Happy welcome to our global intercontinental heavenly Earth summit, specifically designed for you abundance today. You know, scientists find out that human beings could use just five percent of their potential, and another ninety-five was historically impossible to attain. Uh, because it came from God directly. And as uh, we are living now in the uh, Messiah's coming and direct presence of God, God sent the Messiah and already era um, uh, after coming of heaven, after building heavenly kingdom already is done, the 12th year just remained to inherit heavenly kingdom in our lives, in our family, community, country, the world for all 8 billion plus people on the earth. So this is the most powerful intensive program across the globe. We are here with um, the direct presence of God and the we are daily do devotions that uh, God could help us uh, to prosper and uh, build ultimate global peace by 2027. This is uh, predestination for all 8 billion plus people on the earth to live in peace uh, for you too. So subscribe the channel, share this message to billions, turn on this playlist and listen guys to our sanctify your place 24 per 7. Uh, let me go further with our program. Uh, stay till then to receive full blessing today. Uh, there will be so many good programs with the um, um, worship music, uh, Word of God, and then uh, uh, will be actual prayers across the globe. Happy welcome. Let me go with the uh, worship music. Sing along.
Thank you, thank you so very much, Los Angeles family. So powerful, uh, good uh, worship music. Uh, yeah. Uh, glory to God. Let me go further uh, with uh, the presentation about uh, today. We will study about the first family ever of humanity. You know, the scientists find out that human beings, uh, all human beings, uh, black, white, and all the colors, uh, trace their genome from one woman that was living in Africa. And in the Bible, uh, they call. Um, it was Eve, and it was Adam, as uh, all the humankind came from there. So uh, let me see what was there the problem, why the humanity are suffering so much, and how to fix it, how to fix it in our own life. Of course, we know that uh, all the countries should not fight or other things, uh, no corruption, no love to marriage, but um, uh, how to do it in our own life, how to prosper in our life, and what... Uh, uh, to, to not do in our life. So enjoy the presentation and take notes as this is message to billions. Welcome back to the Path to Happiness and Introduction to the Unification Principle. I'm your host, Dr. Tyler Hendricks. In our last session, we learned that the foundation of faith and foundation of substance together are the foundation for God to send the Messiah who will come as the true parents and give us rebirth and resurrection. The Bible shows us that the history of humankind was a journey to establish the foundation for the Messiah. Now, we will look at some details of the biblical history and think about how to apply them. In Genesis, we see the story of the first family including a tragic murder of a younger brother by his older brother. The first family planted the seed of murder. How did God feel when he was dealing with this? God created human beings with joyous hope in his heart, but he became so sad when we fell. Now, instead of leaving us, God, as a responsible creator, set up a path of salvation and started the providence right after the fall. But it led to a murder. What was the story behind that? God called Adam's family to establish the foundation of faith and foundation of substance, the foundation for the Messiah, who could have come very soon. First, in order to establish the foundation of faith, we need a conditional object. Adam lost this when he lost faith in the do not eat commandment of God. Because the fallen Adam could not receive God's words anymore to offer the foundation of faith, he had to establish a reasonable object of faith to replace the words of God. The conditional object in Adam's family to replace the words of God was a material offering. And here I'm going to have to explain about offerings. The families of Adam, Noah, and Abraham offered sacrifices to set the foundation of faith. The unification principle calls this the symbolic sacrifice. The central person to offer the foundation of faith chose specific things and offered them to God. As we know from the principle of creation, God made all things as symbols of his substantial love. As a result of the fall, Satan's claim over fallen men put all things for which we are responsible under Satan as well. The Bible says that all things in this world are groaning in travail. Romans 8.22. But because they did not fall, actually they are closer to God than we are. So offering the creation to God means we are going through them to touch God. Thus, if we offer the things of creation, we establish the foundation of faith. If this symbolic sacrifice is given correctly, 
It means the condition for God to forgive us. And this is the principle behind tithing. Second, to set the foundation of faith, there has to be a central person. Adam himself was his family's central figure. But the Bible tells us that Adam did not offer a sacrifice. And it was his sons, Cain and Abel, who offered the sacrifice. What is the reason for this? According to the principle, we are created to relate to only one Lord. But after the fall, Adam related to two Lords, God and Satan. Therefore, God had to establish a providence to divide Adam, who now had a split personality. For this purpose, God attributed to Adam's two sons the two parts of Adam's personality. Thus, one would relate with God, and the other would relate with Satan. And God would deal with their sacrifices under that consideration. We can see that God was setting up the condition for one son to mediate God's presence to the other. The firstborn, Cain, and the secondborn, Abel, were both Adam and Eve's sons. So how did God decide who would be in the position of relating to God and who would be in the position of relating to Satan? It was by their relationship with the fall of their mother, Eve. Cain, the firstborn, represented the fruit of her first love. He inherited the content of the spiritual fall between Eve and the archangel. So he was in the position of relating to Satan. Abel, the secondborn, represented the fruit of Eve's second love. He inherited the content of the physical fall between Eve and Adam, which was relatively good and principled. So he was in the position of relating to God. In the Bible, Satan, very interestingly, is attached to firstborns. That is why God had this elder, younger providence to separate Satan. Genesis 25, 23 records that God hated the elder, Esau, in Rebekah's womb and loved the younger, Jacob. We'll talk about this later. In another episode, Jacob blessed his two grandsons, Ephraim and Manasseh. As he blessed them, he crossed his arms to place his right hand on the head of the secondborn, Ephraim. Two other grandsons of Jacob even exchanged places inside the womb. When the Israelites left Egypt, God struck the firstborn sons of Egypt and even the firstborn of their livestock. John the Baptist was Jesus' firstborn cousin, born a few months before Jesus. Now, according to this principle, God set up Abel and Cain to, and related with them with God and Satan and had them offer sacrifices. Cain offered agricultural produce and Abel offered a lamb. God accepted Abel's sacrifice. He didn't accept Cain's sacrifice. That was because Abel was in the position to which God could relate. The Bible also attributes a purity of heart to Abel as well. Now, it wasn't because God hated Cain that he did not accept Cain's sacrifice. It was because Cain was in a position to relate to Satan. And before God could accept it, Cain had to, by himself, separate from Satan. And this was why God put Abel in Cain's life. By accepting Abel's offering, Abel fulfilled the foundation of faith and at the same time became the mediator, the chosen person for the foundation of substance. Now, the firstborn Cain and the secondborn Abel were responsible to make a substantial sacrifice to fulfill the foundation of substance. The substantial sacrifice was the two brothers reversing their position, with the elder, Cain, 
going under the younger to reach God. As Abel succeeded in the foundation of faith, if Cain and Abel had fulfilled the foundation of substance, they would have set the foundation for the Messiah to come. Then, what should Cain and Abel have done in order to succeed in this substantial sacrifice? In order for Cain, who is relating to Satan, to go back to God, he had to establish a condition of indemnity to remove the fallen nature, as I explained before, his, which was his inclination to feel and behave like the archangel. What That would have established a substantial change in Cain, which we call the foundation of substance. From the last session, these ar archangelic feelings are not seeing from God's viewpoint, leaving one's position, dominating selfishly, and multiplying evil. So Cain, in the position of the archangel, should have loved Abel from God's viewpoint, should have respected Abel as a mediator between him and God, followed the example and leadership of his little brother Abel, and received God's words through Abel and shared them. We can call this Cain loving Abel. But after Cain saw that God did not accept his sacrifice, but he accepted Abel's, he grew violently angry. He took on all the characteristics of the archangel, and his anger grew and he struck Abel with a rock and killed him. The first murder of siblings happened. The substantial condition failed. The first family had adultery and murder. If Cain had yielded to Abel, they would have established the foundation of substance on top of the foundation of faith. The Messiah would have come under the family foundation for the Messiah. But Cain's murder of Abel repeated the fall. It was like the archangel killing Adam all over again. The fall polluted humankind's blood and, and the murder spilled humankind's blood. So the providence centered on Adam and Eve's family ended in failure, other than the faith of Abel. This teaches us three lessons. The first lesson that, that is that success comes by the shared responsibility of God and us. Therefore, if we who are called do not do our part, God cannot interfere. He only deals with the results. The second lesson is that God's intentions for particular people are contingent, but God's purpose of creation as a whole is absolute. When Cain killed Abel, God instead established the third son, Seth and continued his absolute purpose as intended through Seth, even though there was a delay in the providence. The third lesson is that if we look at the relationship of Cain and Abel, we can see that the way to fulfill God's will for my life is to find an Abel-type person and work with him or her. I also have to show interest, love, and understanding for people who are Cain-type to me and win their faith and love. Here we can learn that crime, tragedy, war, and struggle take their root because our first ancestral family committed adultery and murder. The Bible doesn't paint a pretty picture of our performance as God's children. The Messiah's mission is to free humankind from these two sins, adultery and murder, and to recover the beloved community in which we all can live as one family of true parents and true children, true husbands and wives, and true brothers and sisters, with three generations united as one under God. The next major event 
in God's story is that of another family, the family of Noah. You see, in the principle, we look at the Bible from the viewpoint of marriage and family relationships. It opens up a whole new vista. Please join us for the story of Noah and the ark. Thanks for listening. See you next time. Yeah, thank you, thank you so very much, dear um, um, Dr. Hendrik. So good, powerful presentation. Now we find out uh, how this uh, greatest scene, love of the marriage, corruption and stealing. Uh, uh, and uh, murder wars come into humankind from the first family and it was repeated between uh, people and nations and tribes and how this could be done it could be done just with god and uh, embracing brothers not fight so uh, if you have any enemy embrace and build peace and this will be the root of peace in you concrete situation and let me go further with the messiah's coming words from scripture of peace as these are last words uh, take it uh, notes and share it message to billions as only this could build substantial peace as God speaks through the Messiah's and coming directly. And the world people say, we struggle for freedom. We give our lives for freedom. Liberty or death, I will rather die than lose my freedom. However, they miss the point. Even if they start a revolution to win freedom and pull together some organization or nation, they will just see another struggle develop. Their concept of freedom does not include an eternal subject partner. They use force to win freedom, applying the strait of weapons. Those weapons represent the entirety of their actual power. Communism is such an entity. So are uh, individualism, familyism, ethnocentrism, or nationalism. To this day, no one has gone beyond his or her own nation. No one lives by the ideals of a world-level ideology. Ultimately, we need the type of uh, patriotism organized around the family, with God's love at its center. But it cannot stop with a nation. It has to be international. That is why we call the people of the world to become members of a single family, to become brothers and sisters. What characterizes a world of peaceful nations united as one? It is a market by a family ideology that promotes brother-sister relationship. That is the ideal world. But a family centering on world uh, will not stop at just brother sister relationship. Uh, there will be incessant uh, fighting between siblings. At uh, this time, there are more than 100 nations in the United Nations. All relate to America one on one. Although America is so large, this uh, means they belong to a realm of sister nations. That being the case, it is time for the parents to appear. The battle between siblings persists, so the parents need to come and separate right from wrong. We are arriving at such time, and those parents will come. They will bring the doctrine for world unification. The world has left its parents embrace separate right from wrong. However, when this world rediscovers its parents, embrace and rests deeply with the realm of God's love, welcoming a new spring, it will finally become a united world. Okay, this was quotes for today, so powerful uh, quotes, so good to hear from the Messiah and coming, so good to be together.
uh, we fulfill all the God's um, uh, prediction in the scriptures to meet uh, two and more together and pray for the sick. So we pray for the sick that um, <clears throat> humankind as the lost children <clears throat> uh, find uh, their parents uh, only begotten son and daughter that they came and fulfilled marriage of the lamb and they became true parents and unite all the eight billion children across the globe so let me go in our global prayer chain uh, uh, most powerful prayers across the globe and continents and even spiritual world as uh, uh, visionaries say that uh, tens of thousands of spirits you, all your ancestors up to Adam and Eve and their neighbors came right now with you to pray so happy welcome let me go to Uganda and invite our uh, global peace ambassador um, uh, Irina she is a great leader there educating uh, three schools of the children and uh, working with VIP there to move God's providence there and build substantial peace lasting forever happy welcome Irina Please uh, turn on the microphone and say the most powerful prayer for peace Thank you. and abundance today. May God bless you there Thank and you. every one of us. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be here today. Um, and I want to pray, um, as you've said, peace and abundance. Let us pray. Good evening, our most precious heavenly parents. Good evening, our beloved true parents of heaven and earth and all humankind. Good evening, our beloved Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints and sages that have come on earth before. We are living in a very bad time of The misarming, anticipating landing here on earth, and his mission is to build the kingdom of God on earth. So, we are so grateful that uh, we are living at such a time and we are participating and contributing to the worldwide um, mission of building peace. Heavenly parents. We are so grateful, especially now, as we pray for peace and abundance, that Father, you come to all the hearts of the families, of the people on the world. Father, let them understand the urgency of this time and let them in their hearts learn how to make peace because we learn through prayer, through connection with you. So I pray that the prayer sessions that every person makes here on earth can yield good results so that, that we can build peace by the year 2027. Юлик, ты опять включил качалку. So Почему все тормозит? Peace by the year 2027. And even next year, 2025, there are big programs taking place in Korea that are geared towards peace. And as Nikolai said, we who are working with VIPs, we need to alert all our VIPs to know the importance of Vision 2025 and Vision 2027. Thank you for today. Thank you for bringing us here every day. Thank you for the members who come every day, their families, their nations. 
Thank you for this word. Jesus said that even if you are two or three, as long as you are focused and you pray, pray to the Father through him, our prayers will be heard. So we are here praying and saying that we believe that our prayers will be heard. Thank you so much. I want to report my prayer as Elena Rutanje of the Blessed Center family. Aju, Aju, Aju. Aju, 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 Aju. Thank you very much, dear Irina. So powerful prayer. So good to hear from you. Thy will be done. May God help on this great endeavor. Uh, Peace 2025, uh, the greatest. Uh, um program and festival there will be there in the east as uh, uh, scripture uh, prophesied that uh, the lord will come in the east so let me go uh, further uh, to the east and invite um, um, our brother uh, great ambassador simon from india and chakma community he is uh, working with great project to build project there uh, to build schools and temples um, Happy welcome, Simon. Please uh, turn on the microphone and say the most powerful prayer for peace uh, and uh, abundance. Um, that God could help us with uh, finance and funds uh, and people to build these schools for the most um, needed people. Yeah, please pray. Yes, let's pray. Yes. God, our Heavenly Father, we really want to thank you for uh giving us this uh platform to come all over the world together in your name we gather together and have heard the word of god um we join our hands together we join our hearts together praying for the peace and abundance um uh, as we are living in a very hard time especially when we see uh the world <clears throat> Uh, in Israel, and uh, you know, you, you know, God, that uh, there are a lot of wars and uh, <clears throat> no harmony at all, peace, no peace at all, Lord. We pray for that, that peace be settled down and uh, that people may live in abundance. Uh, uh, we pray that, that uh, each family who are joining here today and who do not join, May your abundance blessing be upon them and may your peace rule in their hearts, in their family, and may your peace be ruled all over the world, uh, in, in Israel, in, uh, in, <clears throat> in Gaza, in Lebanon, in, uh, in uh, Ukraine, Russia, Lord, a uh, lot of people are suffering and you know that, Lord, and you want the world to be peace. You want the world, the world to be in abundance. You want your people to be live in abundance. Lord, we just pray that that you will, uh, <clears throat> you only, you only can, and your people uh, preaching the gospel to all over the world can bring peace and harmony and bless each one of us to be an ambassador and to be a representative and to bring the gospel uh, of peace to all over the world. May you bless us, bless us abundantly, that we may live in abundance, uh, not wanting or uh, because you are God and you create this world and you want us to live in abundance. Lord, we pray that may your peace and uh, abundance be uh, um, <clears throat> uh, lavishly given to the world and then may your peace be settled down on earth so that your people who you have created in your own image and likeness may live uh, in your in your will and in your um, in your uh, kingdom on earth. Even we are going soon to the to the place that you prepare us. We pray for the peace and abundance in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you very much, dear brother Jimo, Simon. So uh, good uh, uh, to hear from you. So good, powerful prayer. And uh, yes, God uh, make us uh, um, uh, the Lord of creations. 
and uh, he make uh, all these planets and brilliance and uh, golden everything is abundant on earth that's the problem for today world um, as you find out in the presentation that one percent of population in every country grab 99 percent of wealth and power in every country and there are even one more one percent of population more golden globally they grab uh, so much wealth that they have twice more than all the globe so uh, there will be peace only when we could embrace uh, and award them as a peace ambassador all of these um, uh, vips and uh, unite them on the messiah and coming and they build substantial peace there will be peace uh, for example you know there um, there was um, a z revolution this summer in many countries and um, the, 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 it started in Kenya when Prime Minister uh, uh, try start uh, to raise taxes uh, because to not just to help population, uh, it was to just to raise his salary. Uh, so uh, he showed how how fancy cars he have and house and all of this, and he want to raise uh, his salary for his salary even more, and. Um, and uh, and the, the the same time where the young population there are starving in Kenya, so it's very very important to understand that uh, it cannot be peace once uh, the 99 percent of the population uh, are not united with this uh, golden uh, population, uh, golden percent in, in every country, and with the God in the center uh, to be equality there. And the United Nations tried to do this after World War II, but it uh, was unsuccessfully. Therefore, um, uh, the Messiah sent the missionary. So you are here as a missionary of God to get this truth, uh, ultimate truth, uh, to build ultimate uh, peace. So take it uh, in your heart and uh, let me pray for the sick, those who uh, really are sick. We seek uh, as more powerful are leaders, uh, the more sick, the more struggle they have, so many so some of them who are so powerful they have they start wars in eastern europe and middle east so uh, we approach them uh, i wrote to all of them all the presidents uh, 90 presidents we award them on the peace ambassador award give them roadmap for peace 2027 so now is the u-turn the population every country need to contact them as i'm doing with the presidents and also president in my country and uh, to build substantial peace ask them how much money they invest in peace not in weapons because uh, these um, um, people who are rich in the and um, in the planet many of them have this kind of weapon machine business and um, this was uh, from adam and eve time from the cain when they when he 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 killed his brother with the stone so uh, they make the weapons and weapons and weapons and this was developed by uh, satan and evil uh, forces and nobody could be protected this only god could help us with his 95 percent of of his uh, potential to get out even president of nuclear weapons you see the evil spirit came and say start a war and they start in the eastern europe and also middle east so uh, fight there fight him so only god could help us so therefore we need to we we are praying right now for them we know don't just pray with us award them and make the communities uh, our community where we live from the community that nobody is taking for the community for, to the community all stakeholders to take care for the community business media local leaders education all of them to build model peace community and these peace communities will be the victory that you build it and uh, pass it to all your children and grandchildren and will never be destroyed by any forces of evil so let me go to africa and invite our brother kaunda how is your connection today can you turn on microphone and say the prayer next for peace and abundance kaunda happy welcome hello uh, let us pray uh, thank you lord for whatsoever you have done to us eh? i i know without you we would have done nothing but uh, you have let us to uh, come together uh on this platform i thank you so much my lord for the message you have shown to us my lord this time i would like to beg you 
you know there are so many countries who are composed of wars they are fighting each other no there there are some dis disagreements that are aroused in their countries i beg you myself to have to assume peace that that, that side so that uh, the, there may be peace not wars in the mighty name of jesus may you look after our country malawi you know that we are coming across some of the elections this uh, 2025 coming i beg you my lord so that you have to uh set some other disagreements so that there may be peace in, in malawi uh whosoever win the election a uh, people should say yes to that issue i beg you my lord so that you have to take charge of whatsoever i'm begging today may you please uh uh hear our prayer so that uh, there may be uh breakthroughs in terms of of uh, money without money nothing can go on i beg you my lord so that you have to uh your prayer so that everything that we are uh begging from you should be fulfilled as you are the father uh the father ans uh the prayer answering father i trust you so much my lord hear our prayer he hear each and everybody on uh, in, in this platform prayer so that whatsoever we are doing here should be fruitful uh he are uh, now and in future I beg you, my Lord, so that you have to hear. Bless each and everybody in this in this platform. Pray our, our leader, President Nikolai Kripala, in the mighty name of Jesus. I beg you, my Lord, so that you have to protect th this one from diseases and sicknesses, so that that one uh, should uh, have um, good health and uh, his thinking capacity uh, should make uh, our platform change beyond measure in the mighty name of jesus may you hear my prayer my lord in in the mighty name of jesus i pray amen 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 Aju, Aju, Aju. Aju, Aju, thank you so very much dear brother kaunda so good to hear from you from malawi we love malawi yes um, uh, you know um, uh, we are using this specific tool already 1180 summits a row we meet daily to build substantial peace and uh, you're supposed to understand that uh, uh, that uh, human beings they have limitation five percent of their potential and there was many utopias and other crazy things and revolutions and wars but they never bring peace uh, even despite all of this you know there was a, um, a red line of god's providence with the saints and um, the 12 disciples of jesus uh, they uh, build the today democratic world uh, with the prayers even beside the, all of these wars that politicians and uh, um, uh, and kings was doing all this history in 2000 years so you're supposed to understand as we are living in messiah sangam in time now it's very important also we start already um a great uh, um, this uh, great initiative in our summits to pray for the elections and uh, it is uh, very important to pray right now is uh, election in usa and uh, as if you could understand that um, uh, usa was built for, with the believers who came from europe 200 years ago and uh, therefore god bless so quickly these nations you know there are another nations like egypt or others like who have like china have thousands of years uh, but um in 200 years uh, usa became leading country in the world because of God's grace uh, yes they have many difficulties there as you see the um, unfortunately after the Reagan uh, Bush start all this uh, uh, so-called helping the world with their weapons uh, and um, they did all of this uh, war machine and the biden you see that he, he pump up uh, all the ukraine with the uh, weapons and also now middle east so um <clears throat> uh you're supposed to understand that now it's very important like like a uh, really battle between god and uh, satan to uh, take it so therefore we need to pray for politicians that god could win and this is very important uh, that god could win and uh, uh, lead the God's providence of uh, global disarmament and global peace building. So uh, let me go further and invite one of the brothers who are from the Saint Catholic Church, um, uh, really brother, from Mariam brother, to say uh, to say his 
most powerful prayer for peace and abundance today. Happy welcome, dear Stefan. Please pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, our Father, we are in your midst to pray and ask for forgiveness for our weakness as humanity. We are misusing the providence and the authority you have given us to administer ourselves and our brothers and sisters. Lord, have mercy on us all. Restore the lost dignity of humanity. The loss of peace in humankind. We pray that you touch the minds of every individual. More so, make your children who are before your altar now praying for the peace of the world. Be instrument and ambassador everywhere they step, like the prophet of all days. Today, you are chosen are before you to plead like you are chosen one Abraham who plead for Sodom and Gomorrah Lord accept our plea accept our prayer accept the intention of every individual and empower us as you empower your chosen one Abraham you promise to him he will have many children. Here are the children crying for peace and unity, crying for joy and love, crying for fraternal service, and the teamwork spirit empower your people. Give them what they need for life sustainability. Lord, heal us from the broken hearted, from the wound that spears your heart on the cross. You died for us so that we may be free from death and sin. We may live in peace. You said, my peace I leave you, my peace I give you. We pray that look not into our sins, but deliver us from every evil so that we may be at peace we ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you. Amen, 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 amen. Thank you so very much, dear uh, Ambassador Stefan. So powerful, powerful prayer. prayer. Uh, please, uh, please uh, join uh, my prayer too. I will enjoy to uh, share the blessing from my, uh, my side too. Uh, please join my prayer too. Dear uh, Heavenly Parents, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Mother, and dear beloved true parents, we are so happy to meet you alive here. You ask us every night to come here 
and uh, pray for the sick, pray for our brothers and sisters, and this is what we are doing already, 1,180 summits a row, we just meet daily and pray for substantial peace, we don't pray for the uh, another utopia or castle in the, in the cloud, but uh, real substantial salvation of all 8 billion plus people on the earth, all are they our brothers and sisters, as we find out in presentation today, uh, we need to pray for brothers and sisters who are suffering in seal sin and hell uh, let them liberate right now right him and uh, we saw uh, the power of prayer across the uh, history and the globe uh, it was building uh, all this uh, today's democratic world with all of this technology and development as a Jesus vision of global brotherhood, it is done, and now uh, we enter in the era of the Messiah's coming, only begotten son and daughter, that uh, you send already as a um, only begotten son and daughter, that, uh, that they fulfill the marriage of the Lamb, and they became true parents of humanity, the real uh, God's representative on earth in flesh, and they are leading the providence here on earth, and also on spiritual world for all our ancestors. Dear Heavenly Parent, please lead us, lead us to unite with you even more, uh, because um, as we find out, uh, every one of us needs salvation, all from simple people to presidents, everyone needs salvation, the more power people they have or money, the more they are suffering, so we pray for them, for their liberation, and also abundance, uh, dear Heavenly Parent, we see that uh, um, in our world, 1% uh, of population was blessed with the abundance, uh, with so big abundance, that is twice bigger than all the wealth in the globe, and they was blessed just with one reason, to meet Messiah's coming and finish building the kingdom. They was not blessed to make this worse that they are, they are doing right now with sanctions and real worse where the people are, um, uh, um, are, suf are suffering there, uh, are dying there. Um, they, they, they was not blessed uh, to, to be this power to send the simple people, or other 99% of the population, to fight there and um, um, finish life uh, early that they was predestined by God. There is no any leader in the world that have uh, this mandate to lead the world, to lead the people uh, as they like, because um, uh, the God only can take care of his children, and only God and Jesus and Messiah are coming. Um, uh, could lead the people as a parents with the true love of God. So this is how uh, the world is doing. So we pray for all the stakeholders, especially we pray for those who, um, uh, uh, um, presidents, uh, prime ministers, uh, billionaires, and everyone uh, stars, they was blessed just with one reason, to meet Messiah and coming and finish building the kingdom, not someday, but uh, right now, remain just uh, half year till 13 April 2025, uh, lead us to unite and Messiah and coming, uh, 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 this uh, mar global marathon and uh, purify all of this uh, global energy to um, uh, liberate our brothers and sisters uh, from hell uh, with the peace road that Messiah built from hell to kingdom. Let everyone see this light from the east, from the Messiah's coming, only begotten son and daughter that is coming as a global uh, resurrection uh, and redeemment uh, um, through the second uh, global Pentecost uh, that is right now fire up the earth. Let this, uh, as Jesus said, uh, uh, he bring the fire and he wanted to kindle. Let it kindle really as this kindle this concrete meeting, this concrete time in our heart. Uh, let me uh, receive Messiah's coming and share this as a missionary to and our family build substantial peace in our communities, countries and the whole world. And this we are doing daily, every day, every hour, every second and heavenly parent uh, as we pray and uh, really share our best energy and our best um, 
Um, instrument that we receive from the Messiah Sagami, we send it to the presidents and prime ministers and billionaires and to um, uh, all local leaders and all other stakeholders everywhere uh, is uh, fire up and uh, everyone receives salvation, everyone uh, receive blessing, marriage blessing to uh, straighten their families, communities, country and the world and make this model peace community, uh, this victory to pass to their children to purify everything, dear Heavenly Parent, I pray for representative of humanity who came here. I pray for Stefan in Uganda and Irina. I pray for Simon in uh, India and uh, Kaunda in Malawi and uh, our brother Rick. Uh, all across the continents, uh, Oceania, Asia, Africa, Americas uh, and uh, um, all others. Uh, and uh, here we are in Europe, our team, dear Heavenly Parent, lead us. Um, Jan. Uh, dear Heavenly Parent, please lead us, lead to unite with all your heart. Uh, let we unite together and accelerate God's kingdom together. Now we are in this uh, global uh, prey chain and we um, shed the, our tears and our, uh, our, uh, our sweet and uh, everything we invest our heart to uh, humanity, salvation. Please lead us to unite together and accelerate God's kingdom together. Uh, dear Heavenly Parent, we want to bring this day as a pure offering uh, and uh, we see that we are accelerating every day, 1,180 summits a row, and really the things are changing. Um, there, there was many uh, troubles still now, but uh, step by step, hour by hour, is, um, everything is uh, uh, fixed as um, um, we couldn't um, mesh until now, but uh, now uh, there is coming real salvation and we could, um, uh, there was um, a build with the Satan uh, evil spirit network that was um, uh, catching out the people and uh, push them uh, to um, um, to make sins more and more as they was push Adam and Eve and then was Cain and all others uh, historically and the kings and others who do worse and all of this uh, love of marriage, corruption and stealing. And uh, this, um, uh, this was uh, in resentment that, um, as the Bible was said, that um, the Satan eat uh, sand from the earth. And this sand is resentment. This sand is, uh, is um, uh, feeling guilty. This sand is this, uh, that uh, is all of these evil elements. And they was uh, uh, sucking energy, as you see in these scandals right now on earth. Let this stop this, uh, uh, stopping, uh, uh, powering this uh, evil machine of the scandals and uh, turn it on with the abundance across the globe. Dear Heavenly Parent, right now we pray that this Unite everyone with the Messiah saying, God, only begotten Son uh, in the spiritual world and only begotten daughter on earth uh, together. One Korea, one world, dear Heavenly Parent, lead us and please uh, lead us to attain real substantial results in the funds, raising funds for God's providence and um, uh, inviting uh, to kingdom uh, all our brothers and sisters, all eight billions. Let this share this message to billions. Dear Heavenly Parent, uh, please receive this uh, uh, short report. I pray in my name as Nikolai Kirpel, and the Blessed Family. Adieu, adieu, adieu. Amen. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, so good to be together. Let me go with the um, Messiah's incoming um, present for us. It is um, um, global. Um, uh, resonating prayer to resonate with God, one choir. So, Simon, turn on the microphone, Kaunda, and uh, Rick, turn on the microphone and pray. Ask God everything what you want. Maybe you need money or you need uh, um, uh, people to build the kingdom. Everything what you need to God's kingdom. Please uh, turn on the microphone, Rick uh, and Simon, and pray very loud. Just to break through all of these barriers that God could give you uh, to do your visions and your dreams. Okay, resonating prayer start. Rick, turn on microphone and pray. Simon, okay, and Kaunda, let me pray. 
I dear Heavenly Parent, we are so happy to be together. I pray, yes. brothers, sisters, I pray for uh, Father in Jesus' name. We want to thank you. We want to bless your name. We want to glorify your name because you are the King of Kings, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the days that you have given us. We want to bless your name. We want to glorify you because you are the King of Kings, Lord. This is the right moment that we can come to you, God. Because you have said in, in, in everything that you know, you are asking to me. to the abomination is God you have to move to us to become your human as your servant's Lord. Father God, we pray. Thank you, Lord, for being by bring your faithfulness to us, Lord. We want to see your power. We want to see your glory and your name in this world. I mean, let people see and confirm that you are the God of Abraham and Jacob and you are the God of today. You are our God, said that you are it won't be. I will ask you, Lord, to help, help us, Lord. This time of you, the Spirit of God, help us to, uh, to take over your word, your word into the nations. In Jesus' name, we pray. Thank you very much, Rick. Thank you very much, Simon. Thank you very much, Kaunda. Stephen and all other brothers and sisters, pray for you. May God lead you and came tomorrow with uh, more brothers and sisters, all your friends and family, let them come and receive this resurrection with uh, full uh, organizations and churches and governments and everyone need to come to pray to God that God could give them 95% of abundance. Subscribe to the channel and share this message to billions. <laughs>